Bowl number three. I'm gonna pass out, it's so spicy. But I love it. <laughs> Hello everyone. We're Ray and Jin. And today we brought you here to Myeongdong so that we can take you along with us to eat at my favorite kimchi restaurant. Let's go. Let's go. Here. 칼국수 하나랑요, 만두 하나랑 그리고 콩국수 하나. 한 네네. 75원, 콩으로 세 가지. So Jin and I first came here together, I think three years ago. He took me here because it's supposedly his mother's favorite restaurant, and he used to come here all the time with his mom after he went to some like after school academy, right? What academy was it? Science academy. Science academy. Yeah, I did welding and stuff. Welding? Yeah. How old were you? Like ten. You've been welding it? <laughs> okay, anyway, this place is famous for their kalguksu. However, that is not the main reason that I come here. The reason I come here is because they have some freaking good garlicky kimchi and it's endless. So that's what we're gonna eat today. We're gonna eat as much kimchi as possible, okay? This 식당은 저한테 되게 추억이 있는 식당이에요. 제가 어렸을 때 엄마랑 과학 간에 납땜하고 뭐 과학 관련해서 뭐 배우고 하는 게 있었는데 거의 끝나면은 항상 엄마가 여기 데려와 가지고 칼국수랑 만두 먹였거든요. 그리고 저희 어머니는 여기 김치 때문에 김치 먹으러 오셨거든요. 근데 레이도 여기서 김치만 한번 보더니 여기 김치 맨날 먹으러 가자 그래요, 자꾸. This is so <웃음> Okay. Should I take it? I'm scared to take this. Oh, I don't touch it. Okay, I thought I touched it. Wow, okay. This restaurant is also more than 50 years old, which is amazing. It survived. There's a lot of restaurants in the Myeongdong area that have been around for a really long time. That's pretty interesting, actually. Even during COVID, it's still here and still thriving. There's so many customers in here. We came again at like a really random time, which we try to do so we're not like filming random people eating. But still, it's packed. Like we can't avoid the crowds. This is just the place to be. I'm kind of disappointed. Look at their initial amount of kimchi that they gave me. It's too little. This place is really unique, not just for the fact that their kimchi is so garlicky, but there's actually a few other reasons. They gave us each our own kimchi dish, which is not usual at Korean restaurants. Usually you have one to share. The third thing is they actually come around with like, I don't know how to explain it. It's like a bucket of kimchi the servers carry it around with them. And if they see that your kimchi container is empty, they will refill it for you, which is amazing. You actually don't even have to ask. They'll just automatically throw some kimchi in your dish for you. But oh my God, I freaking love this kimchi. Can I eat it? Holy crap. I just ordered pop for you. Oh my god, what happened to me? I ate a piece that had like 30 cloves of garlic on it. My sinuses are clear. I'm sweating out of my scalp. Jin ordered some rice, but this is the smallest portion I've ever gotten in Korea. Like usually it's at least the size of your fist, but this is so, it's just like two spoonfuls. What's the point of this? He said that because it's spicy, I have to eat it with rice. It's only because I ate the freaking garlic mound. Let's try. Not that spicy, right? Zero spice, no. I like it just plain. Oh my god. Someone specifically asked me in our comments to make a list of all of my favorite restaurants in order of like how good their kimchi is. If I'm honest, this place is number one. If you love garlicky taste, this is so good and it's like crisp. Oh, it's refreshing. This will make you, if you're sad, 
Just come here and eat this kimchi, okay? Because it's so painfully hot, you're gonna forget about all of your sad, sad times. You're gonna feel so good after you eat this. So it's like nuclear fire power kimchi today. Oh, can I have water gin? Oof. Oh my god. So something that's interesting is you actually don't have to order the mandu if you get the kaguksu because the kaguksu includes like mini mandu and it's the same same thing. But these ones are nice and big and fat, so you might like that. So let's try Jin's extra spicy pepper sauce that he made for me. That's good. Okay. Can I finally try my soup? Yeah. So for this kalguksu, the thing you must remember is that you're not here for the noodles, you're here for the broth. Their broth, they have like giant onion pieces and I think ground beef as well. It's chicken. Chicken? Yeah, no beef. They don't use beef here? Oh really? I thought they'd put random ground beef on top. Okay. And they've also got some mushrooms in here too. Let's try this. So good. But on a hot day like today, oh, it's gonna make you sweat. Oh, so good. It tastes like charcoal. Do they like cook their chicken on a charcoal fire? Maybe. So it's really good to eat rice plus broth. Oh, really? Yeah. Let's try. Their rice is interesting. They add like a seed to it. It's chobap. Jobap? Yeah, jo. What's jo? I don't know what it's called in English. Jo. The thing that's hard for me with Jin when he tries to teach me Korean is he says a word to me and makes me repeat it and then I ask what it is and he just says it again in Korean. He never explains it to me ever, so I can't, it's impossible to learn from him. Seteria Italica, which means Italian millet. <laughs> so it has millet in it. Okay. Mm. I prefer it with rice. It like soaks up all the flavor. It's a cook pop. My god. My mom fed me like this rice plus soup. Because you can order soup too. This is the coziest soup. Even though it's hot as heck outside, this is so good. The texture is so like soft, it's like a marshmallow. Mm. I think this is not that salty. They purposely made it not salty. Yeah, it's not so salty that you can at eat all. with kimchi. I only have the extreme garlic pieces left. I'm gonna die. But how do I scoop up the noodles plus this? This is advanced chopstick level skills. Okay, let's try. It's gonna knock you out of your chair. So garlicky. 여기는 사실 콩국수도 맛집이에요. 이게 면이 살짝 초록색이라 가지고 살짝 비위가 상하실 수도 있는데 이게 되게 맛있어요. You want some? You have sauce all over your face. <laughs> if you say it like that, I don't want it. 제가 레이 먹어보라고 한번 줘볼게요. So here we go. Let's try Jin's kongguksu. It's good, right? It's kongguksu matzip too. This one is so nutty. I like the one we went to last time. I think it's kai soup. Why is kai soup so delicious? Why do you call it kai soup? 
어렸을 때는 저도 콩국수 안 먹었는데 이집 콩국수는 맛있어요 이게 김치랑 뭐가 맛있는데 음, 제가 어렸을 때는 인당 이렇게 면 하나씩 안 시켜도 국물이랑 면이 무한히 비렸는데 한 2년 전에 바뀌었어요 그래가지고 유한히 필 시켜 먹으려면 인당 하나씩 더 시켜야 돼요 그리고 면이랑 국물 하나 주세요 Wait, what the heck? I looked down and half the mandu are gone. Let's see, oh. let's see if I eat it. <laughs> let's see if I eat it, okay? Here, we have like Thai food and meat. We have to pay for it. So, it's a complete package. I'll even volunteer some. We have to make it. 세트로 만약 그러고. Here one more, one more. 이곳에서는 이렇게 버라이어티하게 드실 수가 있어요. 아. 어. So good. Some of you guys might wonder why like, I care so much about kimchi everywhere we go. And it's not just that I love kimchi, but I think nowadays there's so many restaurants in Seoul and in Korea, and most of them are good. Like, I think if you go anywhere, you're probably going to be satisfied with your meal. But the one differentiating factor is always the kimchi. If the kimchi is good, it makes that place worth going to. If their kimchi sucks, then why would you go there? Even if the main dish is good, the kimchi is not good, it's not worth your money. So that's why I care. This place's kimchi is so good. Even though the soup and noodles are just like, I mean, they're delicious, don't get me wrong, but they're also not like, uh, the flavor is not a crazy new experience. So therefore, the reason you come here is the kimchi, okay? Oh my god. I got like all sauce. Oh my god. Drink the soup. It's like, mm. I'm like, I feel like a dragon. I can breathe fire now. Oh my god, it's so good though. I moved the mandu closer to me because Jin was eating them all. Look at this giant piece. Like, the size of my palm. It was so interesting that we had like other foreigners sitting at the two tables behind us because like since I've been in Korea, like almost the entire time has been during the pandemic and there haven't been that many foreigners. It was like the lowest foreigner population in the last 20 years or something crazy like that. So on a daily basis, I don't really run into other foreigners and definitely never ever at a restaurant. It was so interesting. I think uh, tourism is starting again. I saw so many so many tourists around these days so that's very exciting i think the government like lifted some of the mandates so it's much easier to travel to korea now so come help revitalize seoul yeah anyway i just thought it's kind of cool because i never see other people like me anywhere it's i always feel like the odd one out so <laughs> So I've had two servings of kimchi so far and if you look, this is all the extra sauce here. Like even though I've been eating it with like crazy amounts of garlic, there's still this much garlic here. This place is trying to kill me. Bowl number three. I love the pain. <laughs> oh. I smell your garlic press from here. 
Pretty sure my mom in Minnesota can smell it. <laughs> I'm gonna pass out, it's so spicy. But I love it. 여기서 식사하고 나가면은 이게 입에서 마늘 냄새가 엄청 심해요. 그래서 이 집은 이렇게 자이리토 껌을 줘요. 이거 씻고 나가라도. 그래서 되게 세심한 배려가 있어요. 20년 전에도 계속 이런 자이리토 껌을 줬어요. Okay guys, I think three bowls of kimchi was too much. Stick with two or less. But man, this is good. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with us today. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave us a comment. We would really, really appreciate it. And we will see you next time. Bye. Oh, say can you see